Okay, it is 3.11 p.m. And, yeah, well, I'm finally doing the video. So, Hotpick finally got their stuff together. They pushed a... So, apparently what happened was, while I was going out for a walk, uh, they pushed out an application update, at least on the, you know, uh, Google and iOS store. Uh, and long story short, it appears that Hotbit actually separated the funding and spot accounts. Uh, and then it wasn't actually showing up in the right account. So that's why a lot of things were getting screwed up. But good news is I managed to finally get my money out of stupid Hotbit. I put a very large bag. So I'll probably write in the YouTube description, very large bag. Uh, and I'll add this project to the playlist. So... As of this right uh, video, this thing just keeps going up. I haven't seen this going down. In fact, it's impossible for it to go down, at least for five days, because of the 10 times mandatory compound uh, rule. So that's five days. And it was interesting, because I got in pretty much as soon as it launched, within like three seconds. Right? I had to pay a lot of gas fees, because everybody else was probably doing the same thing. Well, actually, they were doing the same thing. Uh, so it turns out that 1.1 Binance coin got you like 1,800 farmers. Now it's down to 1,032. And I'm not going to reveal the number that I used, right? Even though it was consider I consider a small bag, you know, because obviously if you watched my earlier videos from today, I was in a very upset mood, understandably. So basically what happened was because so many people are jumping in ahead of me, and look, it still continues to go up, What's happening, and it's going to go up because of this video is going out now, uh, what's basically happening is my daily yield income, just like BNB Miner, because someone put 300 Binance coin, I don't know who, my yield went up by like 35%. So I missed out on 35% extra gains, but you know what, I guess I'll just enjoy the ride up now, because at least I got in finally. Fortunately, Sphere is still migrating, so I can't sell some Sphere now to like buy even more of this. I want to put an extremely large bag into this project, right? You know, we're talking like small five figures. Uh, but, I mean, I'm already pretty deep in, so maybe I should just let it go. So, maybe I shouldn't let greed get the better of me, because... Let's say, right now the contract balance is 2,129.33 Binance coin. Well, what if this 10x is, right? So it's 21,290, just like baked beans, right? It could very well do that, right? Because BUSD, right... I reload the page. BUSD continues to go up, right? In fact, it's gone up since my video went up, right? You know, I only have a few views on my YouTube channel because I mean, it's actually a Friday afternoon and it's pretty nice weather out, so I think everyone is just doing stuff outside. Like, weekends and Friday are always like lower view counts anyway. So, yeah, so this is looking really, really good. This is just like, I mean, I really just cannot ask for anything more. Now, I will give you a war word of warning or caution. When you put in money into your contract, like you want to deposit more money, and your 12-hour timer is not at 12 hours or longer, it'll actually reset the clock back to 12 hours. So you're actually penalizing yourself. Uh, so just keep that in mind, that you actually reset your compound count. It only uh, I think according to this description down here, it's not supposed to do that if it's been more than 12 hours. But if you do it before the 12-hour timer is up, you lose all the time that you've accrued so keep that in mind because i actually noticed that right well uh, with my with with my deposit just now so i'm passing that on to you so make sure you if i remember i'll make sure to write that in the uh, youtube description as well or if, if for some reason i forget make sure someone one of you writes it as a comment and then i'll pin it right i'll pin, I'll pin the like i don't know one of them so just like all the other crop farmers, right? 10 times mandatory compounding period. You got to wait 12 hours in between each compound. So that's five days. There's a four hour withdrawal cooldown, which doesn't matter, right? Because no one's going to pay this 80% tax penalty. Uh, there's an anti bot launch. So when I a hitch, and there's a 2% compound bonus, which I think stacks to what? Uh, I know it says it's somewhere. At least it's set in BUSD. Uh, da da da. Yeah, the maximum for BNB crop farm is 20%, which is already kind of a lot to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll see how that goes. There's a the referral rewards, and 
the one thing I just don't like about the project, if I had to, uh, there, is that there doesn't not there does not appear to be a tax. So this is just straight up six percent daily. I don't know about that. I would like to at least see some kind of tax, but I don't think this contract is renounced. I, at least that's what I believe. So if it turns out to be a problem and the contract is not renounced, then the guy who made this project obviously will just go and change it, and he'll he'll be like, okay, I need to put a tax in here, all right? Because he's obviously aware that that could be a problem. Because in BUSD Crop Farmer, there's a five percent tax. So I don't know. Six percent net is a lot, right? It is a lot. Technically, my limit is five percent gap between daily APR and a tax. Here, it's basically 6% gap, so I don't know. Then you have some pretty crazy compounding going on, too. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm still willing to put a very large bag and put on the playlist. Uh, but definitely going forward, you know, I'm definitely going to be more strict about this. So, you know. Because now that Crop Farmer is out, right, and it's clearly successful, like, this thing is only like a few hours old. It's like five hours and 18 minutes old. And there's already like 2,130 Binance coin. And all of this thing does is keep going up. And it will continue to keep going up for the next five days. Because obviously the first withdrawals can't happen until five days from now. Right? Because you got to accrue, accrue this. Someone might be braved and just take the 80% uh, sell tax right now. Uh, just to test to make sure that you can indeed sell. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I obviously trust these guys, right? You know, so. <sighs> so, aside from that, this is the project that I was getting angry about that I missed the boat on, right? Oh, look at that. In fact, you could actually just sit on this website all day and just watch this thing go up for the next five days. That would be, like, the best video game ever, right? But, I mean, obviously, I got stuff to do, so, you know. Obviously, I'll keep popping back in. So anyway, I'm very happy that there's finally pro minor projects coming out with restrictions on... Oh, I forgot to mention the 48-hour barrel, right? Of course, you, there's a cap of 48 hours. So you can't... So after 48 hours, you have to take some kind of action, right? You can't just hoard all your rewards. Like, that's actually very important, right? So going forward, I will only invest in minor projects that have a reasonable daily APR to tax gap. Uh, definitely it has to have the reward cutoff. The lower the better, right? The lower the better. Some kind of tax penalty, but definitely it has to have this, right? So, so yeah, just like I figured out Tomb Forks before they fell out of favor, I can figure out the minor projects before. I don't think they'll ever actually fall out of favor. These things are just too good. These minor projects are too good. They're actually better than Titano style projects, believe it or not, because they're simpler. All right now you can still succeed in a tomb fork or a sphere titano fork but that requires a lot more work and a lot more risks so yeah i'm totally at home with these uh minor projects you know so anyway check out bnb miner uh it's obviously fresh out of the gate literally so you know this thing is by the time you see this video and you compare it to the contract balance it's only gonna it's guaranteed to be higher because again, right now nobody can withdraw. Well, actually, they can withdraw, but you're going to be taking an 80% tax penalty. Why would someone be stupid enough to withdraw, right? Unless they're doing a test withdrawal to make sure this is not a scam project. But yeah, I I'm not worried about that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I don't feel like switching networks. I was just curious to see what. You know what? Let's switch networks. How much is the USD miner making right now? Um, Avalanche. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Four hundred twenty-six point five thousand, fourteen thirty-eight. So this probably only went up a little bit, but at least hey, at least it went up, right? So yeah, it probably doesn't help that gas fees are also kind of high on AVAX as well. I mean, it's a lot better now because I think people are finally leaving Krabata game. I mean, not they're not leaving Krabata game, but Krabata game is transitioning from AVAX to the swimmer subnet, right? Their own little network. So they could finally stop screwing up AVAX. Yeah. So, uh, okay. All right. Well, that, man, I really wish I could put my affiliate links in this stuff, but eh, that's okay. All right. So check out BNB uh, Miner. This will be added to the playlist. There you go. Kaboom. New farmer. And of course, more money coming in. So 
If I had more money, I would definitely put a lot of more money in. But, you know, I already have a pretty large bag in this, so you know what? I think that's fine. I should... Because if... Because if anything to, uh, from today taught me anything, I mean, I didn't need to learn the lesson. I just happened to just be victim of bad luck. But yeah, all my reserves were spent. If I had my reserves, I would have immediately put it all into this project, right? But I already had spent my money between uh, CZ Kitchen, Roast Beef, and Toasted Avex. So that's where the my reserve money went. So, but... But anyway, at the end of the day, my daily cash flow is actually really high right now. So, at least for now, right? At least until some of my projects start dying out. So, yeah. And uh, lucky enough, Pancake uh, Cake Lucky Cat's doing really well. It's up to like, as of this morning, 5,600, 56, 57 pancake uh, locked. So, so, definitely there might be a, a niche for minor projects if you take like, not the main coins, but like, semi-popular niche coins so you know if you were to create like a sphere miner project where you people put in sphere and they get back sphere at a higher rate of return that could be like a like a thing right so yeah something so that's definitely something to think about like again if i were running my own miner projects i'd be doing all these niche type of coins and then yeah i'll have like a titano miner i'll have a sphere miner i'll have all sorts of really cool things so, but it's a pain in the ass to run a project, so, yeah. But maybe somebody smart will come along and, you know, do the right thing, right? I'm going to refresh one last time and I'm going to go. Because I want to do my thing. I want to watch. I want to try to relax. And then now that the pressure's off, I guess Sphere can just be uh, be fully operational whenever, right? Yeah, full, this battle station's fully armed and operational. I used to say that so much when I was a kid. <laughs> That's how much I love Star Wars. Uh, that was from That was from Return of the Jedi, right? Yeah, it was Return of the Jedi. It was fully armed. I could have sworn it was Captain uh, or the Commander the Imperial Officer from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Oh well whatever. Uh, so normally I would take the weekend off, however, there is something I may want to take a look into, but I'm going to take the rest of today off, and then maybe I'll make a decision tomorrow, but I kind of want to get, like, projects from, like, different YouTubers, even if they're smaller, and not from Murdoch DeFi, because I really do not like how half of, at least half of Murdoch DeFi's projects are basically all scams, uh, like, outright scams. I don't actually like that. So the Paramount Staker bullshit was any indicator. It's like I need to find a better source of projects. Because I only found out about BUSD Crop Farmer before one of you mentioned it in the comments, which I might have ignored, right, because there's only one person mentioning it, uh, was actually from a YouTuber who's brand new. He only had like 26 subscribers. And one of the projects he covered was BUSD Crop Farmer, right? And this turned out to be exactly what the doctor ordered. Like I asked God for help. He's like, okay, here you go. So, so uh, I definitely want to uh, try that out as an experiment. Maybe I'll actually start it tomorrow, even though I would like to take some time off. But I can take time off whenever I want. So, you know, uh, but yeah. So I don't know when I'll see you next, but I think it might actually be tomorrow. So let me, uh, let me just take the rest of the day off, try to cool down. I finally got my shit in this uh, project, right? <laughs> the phrasing on that's funny. And yeah, look, it just went up again, the contract balance, so. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Definitely check out BNB Crops Farmer. I put a very large bag in here, okay? I mean, it's pretty much, uh, like, if I were pointing in five figures or more, then I would be saying extremely large bag. But for now, I'll just say very large bag, okay? It's a lot of money. All right, not all my money, obviously, because, again... Right, Metaverse Pro, right, I got, oh, look, it just went up again. A whole Binance coin, I think. Or maybe I just forgot. I don't know. But, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, share this video around. I know it's the weekend, but I could use some more help, of course. You know, keep growing the channel, right? You know, because even though I got screwed today on this launch because I couldn't get my money in here in time, you know, 
I feel a little better knowing that maybe I can just, you know, cover a good project like this one and then help some of you, you know, make some make some bank, right? And yeah, look, look how awesome this is. This is uh, it keeps going up. Oh, look, it just went up again. You know, maybe we shouldn't end, end this video. Maybe I'll just sit here for like the next hour and watch this thing hit 3,000 for contract balance because you know it's going to keep going. That's the other genius about this thing too. Even though I'm not too thrilled about the compound bonus or how many or how or basically too much compounding, but in the short term, at least if it's really good because you know nobody can sell basically, right? Because they're, they're not going to take the 80% penalty. So you know this thing will just keep going up and up and up, right? And then your income will go up, right? Uh, in the meantime, so it's kind of interesting to see how the share dilution works when you just have too much money coming into the minor project. So it's a it's a very interesting thing. It's a very interesting thing. And all things considered, I'm still in very early. In fact, by the time you watch this, hopefully you'll be in very early. Uh, and then you know we'll, uh, we'll 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 learn how this minor stuff works. We'll figure out. We will discover the secret to like this stuff. We'll, we'll discover the secret to this stuff. All right. Thank you to all the new people and old people who are watching this. And I think I did send my referral link to a couple of people in the elite Discord. So I'm going to try and see. I don't know. How do I find out how much referral income I got? I don't know if I got any. Oh, well. Anyway, I probably will see you tomorrow if I find a couple YouTube channels that I subscribe to where I put out good projects and good content. So, you know, I want to give that a try. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day or night or evening, wherever you're watching this from, or maybe the rest of your weekend if I wind up not doing any videos. Unlikely, but, you know, we'll see. Yep. And again, check out BNB Crop Farm. Definitely uh, another big project of mine going on the playlist as well.